to discuss this idea of the designer as the innovator, we have a very interesting um, couple here, Dries Verbruggen and Claire Vonja of Studio Unfold. We'd just like to introduce yourselves and tell us a bit about the work that you do, and there's um, some images to accompany yeah. that. Okay. You do it, I do. Okay. <laughs> we always have to do this. Um, I think there should be a diagram online uh, or on screen. No. Yeah. Oh. Um, well, because we need, like you said, we need a diagram to, um, to kind of analyze what we do ourselves. We really uh, have a difficulty when someone asks, what do you do? I just had it with Christine. She asked, uh, what do you do now? And um, we, we have to draw up little diagrams because we do a lot of things um, um, intuitively and we improvise a lot in our uh, projects. So we um, choose to, to show one movie from the project we uh, showed last year in Milan, which was commissioned by Z33 um, uh, for the exhibition uh, designed by performance. And I think it shows for us a very important project that we describe as a um, three-dimensional mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, snapshot of a lot of the, the stories and the narratives we're uh, currently working on and that are, again, diversifying from that uh, single pl uh, so project. So maybe we can show the we film. We show the film <laughs> and I'll, I don't know if it's I'll explain it in the film. <laughs> It's a virtual pottery wheel. You can um, design your own uh, pots. So you sculpt it with your hands. And when you press save, it ends up in a, in a database. And its uh, last 16 models are projected on the wall. And we use those models to, uh, to drive a ceramic 3D printer that we developed. And it's basically extruding the clay from a, from a reservoir on top and printing an object layer by layer yeah. so the table goes down and it prints the object layer by layer. The, the project is called L'Artisan Electronique, so the, the electronic craftsman. And uh, we refer to the craftsman as, as someone who was very connected to his tools because the skills to make the tools was almost similar or, or um, connected to the, the skills needed to make objects. And um, with this wave of digital tools coming over us, we are completely unaware of what's happening inside of this box and, and in, in these tools. And we're even to this point that we're not aware that we're inside of a, of a box itself. We have a tool horizon. And a lot of uh, designers are not aware anymore that there's something behind that horizon. And so for us, this was really a research into can we as designers in this digital or post-digital area, as we like to call it, can we still um, input new relevant tools? Can we still um, create new tools that from there on we didn't have any idea what to do with the tool? We thought, let's make the tool and then we'll see what the tool tells us. Because a tool has a, has a form language. When you, when you turn a pot, it's your fingers that are in there. When you print a pot, it's, it's layers, it's, it's a squirky errors, it's a lot of those things. And from there on, now we're um, using the tool. And it's still a very buggy tool, so... <laughs> um, it takes a, a lot of time to, 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 to research the, the materiality and things like that. So the spin-offs will come. 